Hello everyone and welcome to the live online training today, PyWeb reporting part two. And we will just start with uh, yeah, the content for today. What are we going to talk about? We will talk about the PyWeb designer a little bit more than yesterday. And also we want to create own header variables. And yes, of course, what is as important, we want to talk about the CAT integration. So integrate our CAT model into the PyWeb report. And then in the end, we will talk a little bit about MIBA functions. Okay. What is up next? Uh, yes, I wanted to use uh, yeah, the multiple da uh, data binding. Um, for example, if we want to use a XY plot, of course, we need to set up two data bindings to one single element. And I just mark those two, this X and Y value, and drag and drop it here. As you can see, now it would create new elements, but I only want to create one new element, and therefore you have the text in the bottom. So if I put uh, if I push the control key, I can create a new element with multiple data binding. So let's do that. Control key, create a new element with multiple data binding. Okay. And what is useful for that? We want to use the X, Y plot. Okay. As you can see it in here, yeah, this is how it looks like in the moment. And yes, we don't have the same tolerances, so it looks a little bit like an egg. And here, I just make it a little bit bigger. We can also set up some uh, uh, properties for that one. So I double click on that one. And what you can see in here, you have the tolerance mode. And in the moment, it's a uh, ellipse. Uh, also, if you have a circle for your tolerance zone, you always say ellipse yeah, because just every uh, circle is ellipse, but not every ellipse is a circle. What else can you do? You can also say you want to have a rectangle. So this could also look like that, but in my case, I want to go for the ellipse. Okay, and what you want to see in here, we have the measured value. Let's take a look on that one. Uh, we can see there are now the last 10 values in here. And what may be important, uh, it's just always nice to see the warning limits if you have set up any. And what else can we do in here? What would be nice to know for you? Um, usually you use that XY plots to correct uh, your uh, uh, for example, a uh, milling machine. And for that, you don't just use one of the last positions uh, because it doesn't really matter to just change it from time to time. Um, for that one, you will need to use the mean value uh, because this is the only, only useful thing. And how can we see that in here? This is a quite nice question. And for that, we just take again a look into the properties. And here we can, for example, swap characteristics. No, that's not that one. We can see there is a measured data range, uh, unequal value range, gap between labeling. So nothing in here looks like it is helpful. And uh, now I really need to take a look uh, because I know there is somewhere a settings for the statistics, ah, okay, statistical value. Uh, you can see now there is none statistical value set up in here, but if I click on that one, I can activate the mean value. And this is what I just talked about. This is an important thing. And what is just the problem in here? We can see those two crosses are really close to get her. And yeah, we can't probably work with that one. So, of course, we need to change the appearance of the two crosses, or at least of one of them. And in my case, I want to change the appearance of the statistical value. And for that, I just open the tab in here. And now I can see the mean value. 
we have a cross with the blue line, uh, with the black line. I want to set it up to a blue line. So I just open that one and yeah, let's use that blue. And now we can see anything we want. Yes, and that's how to use the XY plot. Uh, I think it's a quite nice feature, especially because you can see some of the statistical values.